All right, the journey begins. I'm in the car, ready to go pick up my co-pilot, and we are headed to tech for Street and Yeet. <laughs> Hang in there, folks. <laughs> Say he's a nut job. <laughs> Welcome to the little town I grew up in. I don't know if you can see it up there, but we're waiting on the train. Been a while since I waited on the train. I'd almost forgotten what that was like. <laughs> I miss this little town. I really do. This was uh, this was home for a large part of my life. Hadn't been a gas station in a long time, but that right there was where I developed my desire for my first job. When I was a kid, I wanted to be the guy that uh, ran out, checked your oil, and uh, filled your tank for you. That's uh, that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> that there has been remodeled heavily, but that was the middle school I went to. And we would walk across the road and have lunch right there. It used to be a Bantam chef and had a jukebox in the corner. Man, I miss those days. Down this big hill right here, you can't see it because of the fog. That was our football stadium. I wish it wasn't so foggy so you could see it. Uh, they have since built a new high school and a new football stadium, and uh, they use that one for the wreck now. But that is my little town I grew up in. That's pretty much it. Well, we made it to Shadyside. And uh, no, there's not cars here, and no, there's not a tech tent here because uh, somebody misread the uh, paperwork and thought tech was at 10, when actually it said the gates open at 10. So yeah. about two hours early, <laughs> story of my life. It's better to be early than late because if you're on time, you're late, right? <laughs> Still an hour to tech starts. Well, we made it through tech. And uh, don't hate on me for the sticker because much like uh, the driver, the sticker is about uh, out of shape as hell. And apparently, we're three pedal pimping. <laughs> sure if that's a trailer or if that's a camper and they're sleeping it all week i know i'd sleep in it i guess since the event doesn't actually start till tomorrow and uh they're doing tech today they're just trickling in a few at a time
early morning shady side the first day technically of racing yesterday was tech and if people wanted to test a little uh some people made some test passes trying to get their car dialed in or trying to figure out how to make them hook uh but uh shady side's a great track so not that terrible but early in the morning tech will start uh, not tech i'm sorry um driver's meeting will be in about two hours uh so right now just hanging out there's something peaceful about a racetrack early in the morning or late in the evening either one When you're doing a drive and drag, of course, you gotta stop for fuel for your buddy. And you're in the absolute middle of nowhere. The only gas station we've passed in a long Filling time. Filling up the dirty bird, nothing but trees, old abandoned building, old abandoned building on this side. Cool old abandoned building. And uh, DG. They're literally everywhere. Yeah, that's why I was like, well, why am I like? You know what happens when you're doing pulls on your race car, driving down the interstate, when you should be easy on it between tracks? You end up sitting at a, uh, a gas station trying to cool your stuff off. <laughs> Almost a checkpoint too. When the checkpoint turns into a parking lot taco party. Stop two, <clears throat> a CPR performance, had a free taco truck. See drag and drive cars everywhere. And more still coming in. Hey y'all, tacos ain't my favorite food, but I'm fat and they were free and well, those two things combined make a perfect meal. There is still some old school, real deal speed shops around. And they have a dino jet down there in the dino. Okay, you gotta check out the green metal flake on that roof if it shows up. I don't know if it shows up on cam camera. 
but the roof of that car has more flake than a bass boat in green. <laughs> I don't know why that intrigues me so much, but I guess I'm like a kid, something shiny. made it to South Carolina Motorplex along with a handful of people. The roads are flooded out this morning, trees are down. Everybody's struggling to find a way to the track. Uh, ended up being about a 30 minute ordeal for us to find an open road to get in. Uh, yesterday, the people that saw the pass from yesterday, if you're curious, it's my fault. I let the internet get in my head. Uh, people kept saying that those Nitto tires were not sticky, that they would spin, that they wouldn't hook. So I let the internet get in my head and I got outside of my routine and I left a lot softer than what I'd normally leave to try to get the tires to hook. And uh, so they just grabbed and dead hooked and bogged the motor down. So uh, it was a... Uh, It was my fault, it was a struggle. Today we're gonna to leave a little harder. Uh, I have a lot more faith in those tires now and I believe they're a lot stickier than people say they are. So let's get after it today and see what we can do. tires back up hey the, just so you know the internet is wrong these tires hook a lot harder than the internet tells you they tell you they'll spin they won't hook bullshit these tires hook and they hook hard they actually hook hard enough to bog the motor down i gotta start leaving a lot harder than what i have been leaving we're not the only ones packing up to head out two tracks in one day that's a big order so we gotta hit the road so we just left south carolina motorplex and now we're headed to carolina the house of hook for our second track of the day uh, we'll see how that goes two tracks in one day uh, we've got one checkpoint to make and about an hour of driving the beautiful back roads of South Carolina Dead. gas station is my personal favorite in this little town check out the little gas station it's a great little spot
Denmark. Light. Turn right onto US 78 West. I'm assuming Denmark, South Carolina, not Denmark the country, and we didn't turn into an amphibious vehicle. It's a cool little town. track down the average is not exactly where I thought it was gonna be but it's pretty close so we're gonna load up and we're gonna head now toward Mooresville from uh, the house of we Hook. got in early enough that we was able to get a pass out early and we'll be able to hit the road the property is full of drag and drive cars trying to get in a run before the rain One of the downsides to a drag and drive. We're starting day two. First checkpoint, the Park Road Soda Shop. All right, so we are off now to Mooresville Dragway. Just done our first stop of the morning. Unfortunately, last night we had to uh, separate from our buddy in the falcon he had some mechanical issues and had to pull out uh we feel bad for him on that we wish he could have finished the trip with us uh but overall his car did really great and uh it's well proven i think it was uh it's it's, it's a great combination i think it's electrical issues that took him out we made sure he made it to a hotel and there's somebody on their way this morning to pick him up and haul him back home so now we're off to Mooresville for stop four. Stop four. For stop four. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, let's hit the road. We have made it to Mooresville. Stop number four. And by the looks of it, we're not the first one. We're pretty close. I think we're like the third ones here. One over there. One there. And one back there. That one back there came in after us. So we were the third ones at the track today. I said it is like 9.30 and the track doesn't go hot till 12.30. So we are a wee bit early. last night on his way here completely wasted the back of his truck and he ended up in the er got out of the er at four o'clock this morning and still made it here in his wrecked truck in time to make a pass <laughs> I'm mad.
mad at it. I changed my rev limiter and uh, eh, may have forgotten and bounced off the rev limiter between one shift. I ain't mad, it still made the fastest pass of the week. We're packed up and uh, we're ready to uh, enjoy some barbecue and then off to the next stop. As the sun sets over Mooresville Dragway and day four of Street and Yeet. Still got a lot of competitors on the property. I would guess because they promised us free barbecue after the race and a lot left, but I would pro I, I would say the ones that stayed, they're hanging out for that free barbecue. That's <clears throat> that's uh that's that's what I'm that's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on free free barbecue. It's it's barbecue and it's 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 free. We have made it back to Shady Side. Technically, we are on the property, which means we have, by definition, finished the uh, Dragon Drive. And as soon as we break the beams down here, our week has finished and we have made it the entire week. We have survived. Um, granted, it was a little easier week this year considering we brought a, a uh, more reliable vehicle not as fast, but uh, definitely less work. So let's get after it with one last pass. Well, here it is. Oh, one last pass. Hopefully one pass. And we'll have our average for the week right now. I'm not exactly sure where we're sitting because I think I've missed a couple of cars in stick shift. I believe I'm about fifth in the standings um, in that area, unless I've missed a couple. Today I'll do a full video on the uh, Mooresville curse that uh, is always plaguing me. Uh, we did make a fast pass there yesterday, but I still got bit by the Mooresville curse. Uh, I'll tell you all about that at some point. Uh, in efforts to keep this video shorter, I have not shown a lot of racing and stuff. I was trying to show highlights and uh i'll try to do some more filming today because i'm gonna try to do my pass as early as i can and uh just call it a day because i don't think i can advance any further i think i'm kind of in that zone where i don't think i can fall any but i don't think i can advance any but we're gonna try to lay down the best pass we can about two hours till we start That's it. Street and Yeet 2024 is in the books. We did not get to make a pass today. Uh, you can't tell from here, a lot rain has fell in and they're expected it, oops, excuse me. They're expecting it to get heavier and heavier throughout the day and Shadyside called it. Said that's it, we can't get the track dry, so. They're gonna average it off our four day runs and not our fifth day. We had it cranked up today and was hoping for a good pass, but at the end of the day, they probably saved me because I might would have hurt my own car. <laughs> it happens. Um, we had an absolute blast, absolute blast. And it's probably has been one of the most fun events that I've done. The guys that put on this Southeast Street and are phenomenal. It's an amazing event, and um, I look forward to doing it again. I, this is going to be on my list of things that I will do next year. Next year, we're definitely going to do everything we can to make the uh, galaxy here for this, because, man, this event has been so much fun. Um, I've done Drag Week a couple times. No comparison. This is way more fun. So... Sorry guys, we didn't get to uh, get that wide open, just all out balls of the wall pass 
I'd been sneaking up on it all week a little at a time and uh hey I will say one thing Mooresville is uh me and Mooresville have a hate kind of relationship and something always goes wrong for me there even though I still had a hiccup there made our fastest pass of the week there so all right guys I just dropped my co-pilot off you know videos coming full circle I started with going to pick him up now I'm dropping it off you didn't see him a lot he was kind of camera shy if you pay attention you'll see him in the background the plan for the day was for me to make a one and done pass I, I had my average kind of sorted out no matter unless something extraordinary happened it wasn't going to change but more than a few hundreds uh so i was gonna make a one and done pass um and then i was gonna sit down and film the rest of the day so i could show y'all a lot of racing footage it was kind of playing the whole week the last day was gonna be about getting you some racing footage fortunately mother nature did not play well with us so they did the best they could with it and they just took four day averages instead of five day averages basically what they done well that's exactly what they done a lot of fast cars this year uh we had a number in our mind that based off last year's times uh would put us in like the top five ish um we ran really close to that number uh i'm i'm, I'm actually not gonna tell you what i ran because there's people there that probably don't want people to know how fast their car is i guess and if you knew what mine was and you've seen some of theirs you kind of figure it out so anyway uh, we had a number in mind that we thought this would put us in top five based off of what people ran last year. Uh, the problem is the top five was all faster than the fastest guy that showed up last year. <laughs> I'm not disappointed. I, at the end of the day, I took a street car, so I'm not disappointed at all. The car ran well. I played with things all week, just trying some old school techniques to see what would how this car would respond to them. Uh, I am not disappointed at all. I will say that this has been the most fun drag and drive I've ever done in my life. If you have the opportunity to ever do the Southeast Street and Yeet, you really should consider doing it. It is the most fun, uh, laid back, absolute great atmosphere drag and drive I've ever seen. This is going to be on my must do list every year. I'm putting it right there with Hot Rod Power Tour. We do it every year. Uh, we fell in love with it so much the first time that it's an every year thing. This is going right there on that list. As long as they have it, I'm going to try to get in on it and do it. This was so much fun. Um, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I can't thank you enough for all of you that subscribe and like and share and comment. You mean so much. If you've watched to this point, drop me a comment and let me know what you think of driving drags and it if you've seen a car throughout the video that you think was super cool just let me know what it is uh, i'm gonna do a little housekeeping here and say i want to thank um a few people uh nitrous express great guys they helped us out some um greasy's garage you know gotta gotta give a shout out there um great companies helped us out uh my wife because well she helped me a lot to be able to get here uh, we we had a great time i want to thank my co-pilot robin great co-pilot kept us on track uh all week done some video in for me when i couldn't so a lot of the footage you see is actually footage he took which i'm ever so grateful for all in all guys we had an absolute awesome time it was so much fun so much fun um i can't tell you enough how much fun it was uh, we look forward to the next time uh, next year we are taking the galaxy mark that down it's i've i'm committed now i have a pretty good idea of what it's going to take to be uh, a winner in the stick shift class a pretty good idea and uh i think the galaxy is within striking distance that with some changes made uh, it can get there and it'll be, it'll be there next year and we'll be fighting for it. We'll, we'll be one of the guys willing to send a rod into orbit to, to win next year. Uh, couldn't really do that with my daily driver car. You know what I mean? Uh, all in all great adventure. 
I cannot thank you guys enough for sticking through and watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was kind of different trying to do something like this for me. Uh, so I was trying to figure out how to do the filming and stuff, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. God bless you. To him be the glory. Um, I hope the Lord bless you more today than he did yesterday. I got to get home. Hopefully mama's got some supper waiting because I'm a hungry fat guy. Uh, guys, please, please, if you haven't, subscribe, like, and drop me a comment. Anything you want to comment, the comments help. And uh, share these videos. Till the next one, guys. Thank you so much. I love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. I'd say he's a nut job. <laughs>